My stockade rangers uh, had a huge impact on my life. They cared about me and they wanted me to grow. They wanted me to have fun. And in battalion is really where I learned a lot of my leadership training that I utilized as I was a pastor for about 25 years. And also the discipleship that, of which I was a recipient ended up being that I then replicated that in the lives of many youth and men in my pastorate. I remember Ranger Norm, he lived about three miles away and he actually was uh, the ranger who came to my house and he walked to my house. He walked that three miles to my house to check on my garden and I remember he was a tall, thin man and it was difficult to keep, uh, keep step with him, keep stride with him. He was, uh, had long, long legs. A couple things about Ranger Norm. Uh, he wasn't flashy. I remember he had the, the khaki green shirt and pants, work shirts and pants that he wore to work. That's what he wore to stockade, his steel toed boots. But he always came prepared. He knew where we were working on our achievements. And actually, I completed the Sentinel book while I was in his uh, post. One time as a, an adult, I was talking to my, my mom and I said, I wonder why Ranger Norm never got his driver's license. And she looked at me and said, Joel, he couldn't read. And because he couldn't read, he couldn't take the written test to pass his driver's license. So not only me, but all the other boys in that stockade post never knew that Ranger Norm couldn't read and that he probably had his wife go over what we were gonna work on an achievement that night. And he would always say, oh, Joel or John or Pete, would you read? the verse or you know whatever we're going to do the others and me and then then we will work on the achievement together and as I thought about that I as a pastor I had many people say they couldn't volunteer in a church or a brigade because they didn't think they um, were experienced enough or skilled enough and and when I think back to uh, Ranger Norm I realized that a man that couldn't read well enough to take a driver's test, was willing to risk the boys in his post knowing that so that he could disciple us. Brigade was where I really understood that Christianity needed the impact. All of my life it just wasn't an add-on, but it was like what my life should be. It was my brigade leaders that really challenged me that God maybe had a much bigger plan for my life than I thought I might have. And it was through the brigade ministry that I went from a life of mediocrity to a life of passionate pursuit of Christ. And at a brigade camp, between my junior and senior year in high school, at a campfire, I felt God's call to the pastor. 